And here is the Writer's Almanac for Monday, the 15th of February, 2021. It's the birthday of the filmmaker and writer Miranda July, born Miranda Grossinger in Barr, Vermont, 1974, grew up in Berkeley, went to the University of California at Santa Cruz, dropped out after a couple of years. She was frustrated with her film class, which she said was all guys, and every project had a gun or a dog in it. So she moved to Portland, and she started doing performance art. She said, nothing I can come up with these days is as scary as opening for punk bands in bars back before anyone knew who I was. Sometimes these audiences were so confounded, so unfamiliar with the idea of performance that they would get angry and yell at me while I performed. But she kept at it, and she was eventually invited to do art installations and performance art at the Museum of Modern Art and the Whitney, the Guggenheim Museum. The novelist Rick Moody came to see one of her performances, told her that she ought to try writing stories. So she did. He thought they were great, although he said it would be good if something happens outside the narrator's head. She published a book of short stories in 2007 entitled No One Belongs Here More Than You, and later wrote and directed and starred in the film Me and You and Everyone We Know. It's the birthday of Harold Arlen, born Hyman Arluck in Buffalo, New York, 1905, who wrote, I've got the world on a string, it's only a paper moon, and somewhere over the rainbow. It was on this date in 2001, a working draft of the human genome was published in the journal Nature, and the entire human genome project was completed in April 2003, the goal of which was to sequence and map all the genes in DNA, all that make up a human being. It was the largest single biological investigation in modern science. Scientists had expected to find that humans had more than 100,000 genes. It turns out we have only about 20 to 30,000, about the same as mice. And the genes themselves are mostly similar to mice and other mammals, with only a few exceptions. There were biotech companies that hoped to patent some of the genes that were discovered. But President Clinton declared in 2000 that the genome sequence could not be patented, that the results would be made available to the public, as a result of which the biotech sector lost about $50 billion in market capitalization. Here's a poem for today by Michael Dennis Brown entitled Telepathy. Today I explain telepathy to you and telephone and television on the way to daycare. And I said, sometimes when I'm at work, I'll think of you. And if I could send you that thought with my mind, you'd get it right then. And maybe you'd smile, stopping a moment at whatever you were doing, or maybe not, but just going on with it, making a mask out of paper plates and orange and green cards with markers and scissors and paste, or screaming circles in the gym, either being a monster or being chased by a gang of them. But still, you'd get the picture I was beaming And you'd brighten inside and flash me something back, which I'd get where I was and smile at. That's telepathy, I said, pulling into the parking lot, looking at you in the mirror. A poem by Michael Dennis Brown, Telepathy, from You Won't Remember This, published by Carnegie Mellon University Press, and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.